Welcome again friends. So in the last video we developed a hello world lighting component. So in this video we would be covering setting up the foundation means adding the required CSS and JavaScript so that we have a framework and on top of that we can build our lighting app. So what you see here is a button, right? How this is happening is there is an awesome CSS framework called Materialize CSS. Now we have used the same framework with a custom namespace called ML so as not to conflict with the Salesforce UI. What happens is in Salesforce also provides a list of style sheet classes and we have to don't uh, we don't have to mess with them we have to um, make our programming and our write our code in such a way that it should not mess with that what you see here the Salesforce uh, these things recent items create new all these have some kind of effect so this is Salesforce standard feature so so as not to conflict with that we use something called namespace so all these CSS classes have been modified as per the namespace and it is different from the CSS classes and JavaScript files that is provided here okay no worry about that I will be providing this uh, as a static resource I will be providing this CSS so that when you log into your org while replicating this demo you have to just log into your org and come over this area and then hit new and upload the zip file as simple as that I will be providing you that zip file and then you can safely write this code exactly to see this effect right now in materialize there are few other things also this is just we are talking about few components this is just a button which I took from here there is many more other things like these tables medias grid color let's try this let's see how it looks now again I copied this to see this kind of effect this color and inside the text so if I go back to my developer console I come over this area and hit save and I refresh make it a little bit bigger you see it's as simple as that just this has to be in place otherwise it wouldn't know it if I remove it if I refresh it it would be all messed up we don't need that right so we roll back okay I would like to talk about a little bit what we call icons. Now materialized CSS it has a full set of support for icons. So suppose I want to have a decent icon like uh, where can I get a good cool icon how about this one this looks nice copy it is very simple for me to just copy and paste because I have already done the hard work adding this custom namespace and adding these CSS files so I just have to copy paste and it will work without any trouble okay so this is the our setup is done we have added the JavaScript files and our CSS files everything is in place um, and so this is the second part of the video so with this our initial setup is done and in the third video I will be actually explaining a scenario that what we would be going to build and then consequently we will build that app this is the same approach means each time I introduce you to a scenario and we build that please like subscribe share thank you for watching bye